So I'm talking about uh, beech trees today, uh, beech bark disease specifically. Um, so uh, if, I, if this beech tree was healthy, and I do have another video on beech ID, um, but uh, so if this was healthy, the bark would be totally smooth. It wouldn't have any of these bumps in it. Um, it would m look more like uh, the leg of an elephant. And here you can see the bark is all cracked up, and, and there's this white, this white stuff all over here. That's actually an insect. That's a scale, and they have uh, small mouth parts, and they're they're attached into the bark here, and they are. They're not what's killing the tree, but they're spreading the, the disease, the beech bark disease. And beeches are pretty cool in that they'll get this disease and it won't really kill them, um, but it'll ruin the timber so they don't turn into like big trees. Like that one is, is pretty big, but it's got it pretty bad. So that trunk will, will die. Like usually it takes a, several years, but, but that trunk's not gonna last for very long. But the root system is, and so you can see their roots on this beach down here, and they, they really spread out in like a, like a wide net over the ground. And so this, here's a sucker right here. Um, you know, here's another one. And pretty much all the trees in here, all these young trees are all suckers from the beach, even, even this one. And they're probably all connected to that, to that big mother tree. And so when the trunks die, you'll just get more and more stems popping up, and you'll get thickets of beach stems. And they'll get a certain size before they start to die. But they're all really useful for lots of crafts and firewood and uh, small diameter lumber. Foresters don't like it because they want like big timber trees that they can sell to sawmills. But, uh, but I think as far as like homestead use and like shiitake logs and firewood and wildlife, that the beech bark disease is, is actually not, not that big a deal. Um, and then about... About 2% of beech trees don't get beech bark disease, and it doesn't sound like a lot, 2%, but if you walk through the woods, there's like so many trees, so you will find resistant ones, and if, if we were to keep walking in these woods, um, I know a couple spots where there's lots of trees that look like this, that have the disease, and then all of a sudden in the middle, in the middle you'll find like uh, a, a stand of beech trees that are just enormous and super healthy and they have the disease all around them in their environment but they're not getting it so there is a lot of resistance to it um, it's just interesting to watch the evolution of this disease it's only been around since the 1970s in, in, in the United States so but that's just a quick glimpse at beech bark disease and what it does in our forest